from the maelstrom of sand, wind, and fire, our people emerge and arrive here. A new world, one ripe with great possibility and even greater dangers. Here our people stand, their destinies unwritten. Will they push forward into greatness? Or see themselves lost to the ages? Their fate lies in your hands. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Much rests upon your shoulders, King Gilgamesh. Your own people, and many people of the world, look to you as a leader. But you are more than a mere man, and the weight of the world will never cause you to waver. Encourage the people of Sumer to settle the fertile lands along rivers, and be sure to choose your allies carefully, for there will be many vying for a piece of your strength. Venture forth, for it is time to begin your epic tale. Our people's fate lies in your hands. Great is the responsibility placed upon you. Perhaps I may be of service. For too long we have roamed this world without a land to call our own. It is time we put down roots. Our brave settlers await your command. We should found our first city here. From the seeds of this small city shall you grow an empire. But to truly thrive, we must first see to the needs of our people. small now, our city will continue to grow if you allow it to. Its fate and that of our people depend upon you. We are fortunate that the land surrounding our city is rich in resources. Developing it will be key to our survival.
We are blessed to have such bountiful lands within our borders. Still, a civilization is comprised of people, not just Earth. Such lands will surely draw the attention of the barbarian raiders plaguing this area. We must prepare to fight back if we are to survive. Our city requires warriors. If our people are to survive in these lands, we must focus their efforts. Only then can we master this world. People's protection is our utmost concern. Direct your city towards the creation of a warrior. Training has commenced. Already our people feel more secure. Our empire will not be built overnight. We have accomplished all we can this day.
Our warriors continue to train. But if we are to be more than the barbarian tribes we defend against, we must explore other areas of development. There are those among us with minds adept at unlocking the world's secrets. We need only guide them. Excellent. As our people's understanding of the earth increases, so too will our ability to harness its riches and increase our production capabilities. We must give them time to do their work. Barbarian raiders approach our city. We are surely too prized a target for them to ignore. We cannot allow these savages to pillage and destroy all we have built. Our warriors have completed their training. Let us commit them to battle. Warriors are the blade with which we will strike down our enemy. They need only your hand to guide them. <laughs> Victory! The barbarians have learned we are not a people to be trifled with. Still, they will return, and next time I fear they will not take us so lightly. We should take advantage of this lull in hostilities. With our warriors now prepared, we may focus our production capabilities towards the city itself. The lands surrounding our city are fertile, yet as of now, they lie undeveloped. We must create a workforce if we are to make the most of the resources within our borders. Excellent. 
the skills these builders will attain will dramatically improve our civilization. While our builders train to improve life within our borders, we must not ignore the lands beyond them. The only way to truly master this world is to understand it. Beyond combat, our warriors make for ideal explorers in this uncertain and hostile world. You need only give the word and they shall set forth into the unknown. Alone, on foot, the wildlands take a heavy toll on our troops. Perhaps there is a smoother path. Already our warriors' efforts bear fruit they have come upon a small tribal village. This people seemed different from the barbarian tribes we encountered. Perhaps we should make contact instead of combat. Our warriors stand before the village gates. They await your command to enter. It would seem friendship has its rewards. Our success against the barbarians has reached this village. Impressed by our culture, they wish to rise up against their oppressors and join us in the fight against the Horde. Though not skilled in the ways of combat, this tribe possess a great knowledge of the land. Their ability to move through the terrain quickly makes them ideal scouts. We should put them to good use. We should employ these scouts with caution. They are excellent explorers, but poor warriors. It would be wise for them to avoid battle whenever possible. Exploration may bring many rewards, but let us not forget the safety of our capital. We should direct our warriors home for its protection.
Our scouts await orders. They must explore and teach us about new lands yet undiscovered. Our city continues to prosper. Already our people thrive and our population grows. There are no further matters to attend to today. While our forces prepare the defense of our city, our best minds have discovered how to extract precious resources from the earth itself. With an abundance of valuable stone nearby, our builders may be able to exploit this knowledge when they complete their training. Our people delight in the pursuit of knowledge. We need only direct their efforts, and they shall uncover yet another mystery of this world. A wise decision. Our people may now uncover new uses for the materials we unearth in our mines and quarries. But let us not forget the exploration efforts of our scouts. There is a whole world before us to uncover. Citizens rejoice at the return of our brave warriors. Perhaps they should fortify their position to defend against the barbarian threat. Excellent. With our warriors entrenched in their positions, our people are secure. It would be wise to maintain this advantage for as long as possible.
As our scouts continue to push onwards, let us turn inwards to our own capital. As our city grows, so too does our people's hunger. Our builders now stand ready. Constructing a farm on fertile lands within our city will increase our yield and better feed our people. These plains possess rich soil, an ideal spot to plant our first crops. Excellent. With their stomachs full, our people prosper and our population shall only grow. But remember, our builder's strength is not infinite. We would be wise to make the best use of their talents before exhausting them. With their basic needs met, our people now have the capability to construct more elaborate structures Perhaps a monument to all they have accomplished will inspire them to evolve even further. Excellent. As pride in their own culture grows, our people shall be driven to spread our civilization beyond their own borders. The task at hand is of critical importance. Might I advise patience in this matter? We should allow our people to continue their work, if at all possible. Now that our people are fed, let us turn our builders' attention elsewhere. There are valuable resources surrounding our city that have yet to be exploited. direct the efforts of our builders towards harnessing these valuable materials.
Excellent. This stone we extract from this quarry will only increase our production capabilities. With our quarry now complete, we must turn our builders' attention towards additional improvements. There is still valuable land within our borders. We must guide their hands carefully. Set is this hepperty sepsen. Ye neck Cleopatra henna henem set ear. Eu ex shawu. Resources and land are not infinite. It seems we now have competition. As we do not yet know the true intention of this people, might I suggest we proceed with caution?
Our people truly thrive under your guidance. But as our civilization grows, so too must our leadership. We must now enact policies to better steer the growth of our people. Discipline is the heart of any army and is a valuable advantage over the unorganized barbarian rabble. Urban planning will only make our cities more organized and efficient. I suggest we enact both these policies. Though our policies begin to bear fruit, our civilization will only continue to grow. We must Are blessed. This monument stands as a symbol of Perhaps we are now ready to spread our civilization beyond our capital city. If we do not claim the surrounding territory, others surely will.
Excellent. These brave settlers are ready to carry our culture into the unknown. However, it will take some time before they are prepared for the journey that awaits them.
With knowledge comes opportunity. As our people's understanding of this world grows, new paths present themselves to us.
Our legacy will one day be recorded beyond the spoken word.